One of the things I like everybody to do, uh, wear a pair of simple latex gloves because they, uh, the animals, they become more and more overpopulated. We see that uh, more and more diseases are out there and we sure don't want to catch them. This is a fail safe way to really help prevent that. Uh, so a good pair of gloves, a rubber apron, some of these kinds of things will really help you. As far as parasites in an otter, uh, there is a little one there and I think it's related to the beaver situation. If you're in a heavy beaver concentration where you're catching an otter, you might have some flea bites on it, but I think they're normally the fleas that are on the beaver, not the otter. Uh, so very few parasites. The otter are real clean animals. Uh, they do a real good job of uh, keeping themselves in good shape as far as their fur is concerned. You try to keep things clean, try to keep things neat. You need some good equipment, sharp knife, I've got two or three different styles here and some of my knives are getting pretty old. A simple knife sharpener. Uh, this has got two different grades of knife sharpeners on it. It's real simple. You basically, I got to get around there to show you how to do this right. I don't want you cutting yourself. You hold that down and you run your blade in it like this. This is just one simple brand. A pair of pliers. This little tool here, I'll show you. I stick it in under the arms. It's a tool that I use. Um, a knife when I scrape, I use uh, a couple of flushing knives I use. I like this knife here. This has a front sharp side on it that can be just razor sharp. Uh, this is not a knife to play with. Uh, it is designed to shave meat off of the leather. The back side is dull where you can push where the fat is real loose, you can push with it. Fairly old knife, one of the, that's almost unbuyable they're pretty much gone anymore you can't buy this knife this knife here is more usable for uh, the uh, trapper and hunter out here today uh, this knife you can buy for like $75 really uh, good steel in this knife last a guy a lifetime if he takes care of it uh, several different versions of flesh and knives but this is a good one that I recommend a fur good fur comb round tooth fur comb is probably will make you more money in the fur industry than any of the tools you'll own including your traps a fur comb and a fur buyer really like that uh, so when you go to sell fur if you've got it brushed up nice uh, it works Fortunately, river otter are really clean animals. They don't have cuckoo burrs and stuff in them because of the short nap on their fur. So there's not usually a lot of times you have to brush much. Sometimes you do, uh, but fur comb. And then stretching equipment, and that'll kind of be in another part of what we do here. 